If you were living here in Western New York 20 years ago today, then you'll definitely remember what happened on this fateful day. It was on this night in 1998 that Dr. Barnett Slepian was shot and killed by a sniper while inside his Amherst home. Now, Slepian had been the subject of pro-life protests for years for performing abortions here in Western New York, and it took two years before his murderer, James Kopp, was arrested in 2001 in France. It was a shocking case that we covered for years and still remember well to this day. But what may be easier to forget is all the growing tension over abortion in the years that were leading up to Slepian's murder. Slepian himself was arrested in 1988 for assaulting the vehicle of pro-life protesters at his home with a baseball bat. Years later, in 1992, the battle was dubbed the Spring of Life, bringing angry protesters to the streets of Buffalo. And to help frame the landscape leading up to the events of 20 years ago, we want to share some of our coverage from October of 1998. Despite the pleas for nonviolence, the confrontations turned physical. Women seeking abortion had to be protected by escorts. There were injuries, there were arrests, and in the end, even a Supreme Court decision. In 1996, the justices ruled protesters must obey a 15-foot buffer zone at a clinic's entrance so women could come and go freely. But the protesters would not be prohibited from speaking to, even screaming at, a woman seeking abortion. A small victory, perhaps, for both sides. But the soldiers fought for a cause they believed in with their hearts. Dr. Slepian fought his mostly with quiet courage behind the doors of his Amherst and Buffalo offices, providing women with a service they chose. And while he knew his work was unpopular with some, he strapped on a bulletproof vest, took occasional police intelligence warnings under advisement, and forged on, perhaps never believing they would ever get to him in his own home, in front of his own children. Yeah, that was, it's hard to believe it's been 20 years. Remember it, well, like it was yesterday. That was one of the biggest stories of our couple decades together here. And really, it brought the attention of the nation onto Buffalo and Western New York, and then following it for so many years until James Cop was finally captured. And uh, it's something, yeah, a part of our history that, you know, brings out strong passion still on both sides. And the great work that the law enforcement, the FBI, local officials, state officials, they did a great job in uh, finding him mm -hmm. also, bringing did. him to justice.